Nifty opened strong after Gar's three-year deferral, but the cheer is short-lived and the market as traders choose to book profit at higher levels. Consumer derivatives and power stocks lead, while realty and energy stocks remain laggards. Supreme Court lifts the ban on iron ore mining in Karnataka. 18 mines can now resume mining. Sesa Goa and JSW Steel gain in trade. Kalyani Steel jumps as much as 12%. Auto sales for the month of August see a slowdown. All companies for sales numbers that are below the street estimates. Stocks, however, see a mixed reaction. One of Infi's top executives quits to join a rival sources to an ET now. Shaji Farooq, uh, head of financial services for America, that Infi is now joined Vipru. And the European markets open lower, taking cues from Asia after the HSBC China August PMI dropped to the lowest since March 2009. This is Markets at Lunch, you're with ET now. Okay, we've got a whole host of uh, fundamental market experts and technical experts joining us over the next 16 minutes. But we've also got a special guest on Markets at Lunch, Parthi Sarthi Shom, the head of uh, the GAR panel, uh, comes in with a perspective uh, on those recommendations. It's a big breather for the markets, a detailed chat up ahead on the show. Also, Jim Rogers uh, uh, and Nilesha come in uh, with the fundamental view on the market. Speak to you at lunch. We'll be joined live by Avinash Kuraksakar of uh, Money Investments. In. On uh, Global Market Check, we'll be joined by Kathleen Brooks, Research Director at Forex.com. Technical calls as always uh, from CK Narayan and Ashmi Gujral. Uh, they'll be joining us with their picks for trade today. Commodity trading strategies from Devang Visaria. And we'll discuss large cap fund performance in August with our mutual fund expert, Tirendra Kumar. Well, after a good start of about half a percent, it's been one way down for the markets. It's finding some semblance around the 50 to 65 odd market trade. What's under pressure? Ambuja, JSPL, Tata Motors, despite uh, an impressive monthly sales numbers for the figure for the month of uh, August, you've got Tata Power, Sale, Tata Steel, Dr. Reddy's, ACC, ONGC are some names which are under pressure, as is the case with M&M as well as DLF. On the flip side, there are good gains coming in for Ranback. In Sipla, the defensives, Hero Motor Corp and Bajaj Auto as well are holding out in trade. Okay, let's kick off the show with a big fundamental view. Nilesha of Axis Directors, uh, lower economic growth may hit consumption in India, but he's bullish on IT and auto stocks. Listen in. With the clarity emerging on guard that it is deferred by three years and it will be implemented in a manner which will be fair to investors as well as the government, I think it will give a lot of confidence, a lot of faith to the investors to continue investment in India. The consumption growth has slowed down a little bit because of concern on growth and with the revival of monsoon in the month of August against the expectation of most of the people, we could probably see some benefit in consumption pickup later on. Most of the IT companies, especially on the mid-IT side, this time they have survived the currency depreciation with a lot of ease. So currency depreciation has straightway given them about 20% advantage over their competing peers. Earnings growth courtesy currency depreciation and the fear of global growth not translating as much as it was priced in. All these things put together we have seen rebounds in the large cap as well as mid cap IT companies. And we think this can continue for some time to come. As the festival season kicks in from Ganpati to Dasera to Diwali, we could see revival in the automobile uh, numbers. Because of the growth opportunity in Africa and other global markets, I think becomes a solid case for being in one's portfolio. 